Hello everyone and welcome to Suite 776. Somebody on the Discord recommended this to me, so I went and had a look at the Steam page. And now, I'm used to games, especially horror games, giving very scant descriptions of what they're actually about, but this one's the very opposite. It actually dumps a whole lore and backstory on me. Which isn't a bad thing, it actually got me very, very interested. But the long and short of it is, our job is to enter this vacant apartment and capture a photograph of a ghost. Now, like I said, it actually gave a lot more detail than that, but I don't know how much is going to be explained in-game, so I'll hold my tongue for now and just press 1 to play. Warning. Please keep in mind that Suite 776 contains flashing lights. It's also heavily aggressive with horror elements. Please keep this in mind and progress at your own discretion. Suite 776 does not contain save game functionality. It's to be completed in a single sitting. Estimated playtime 50 minutes, which does not include multiple endings or achievements. <laughs> this is a scary one. Very scary. Actually included in the publisher's logo. That's kind of funny. Marcy was found in her home, dead. She hung herself. That's less funny. She left her only family alone, her seven-year-old son. Marcy was a famous architect, very well known. Unfortunately, she became too well known for the wrong reasons. It is my intention to prove that Suite 776 exists. To that, I will photograph Marcy in motion. I will photograph her even if it kills me. No matter what. All that's left to do is ring her bell. That's all it takes. Just ring the bell. And we begin on that creepiest of all spaces in an apartment building. A cramped white elevator with a detailed pattern on the tile. I can't wait to try this. Now, like I said, I don't know how much of the backstory it's going to explain. It seemed like it just gave us that. Ah. Ding. Now, the loudness of that bell has me nervous for any jump scares. Uh, and we've got, we've got the background blur of doom, giving it that dreamlike, ominous approach. 773, 774. Ah, uh, this is some really, really creepy architecture right off the bat. This seems like a really narrow hallway to connect apartments, doesn't it? And here it is. Suite 776. Okay, I proved it exists. Once that door closes behind me, I get the feeling I won't be able to leave again. There's my last look at freedom. Huh. Now, funnily enough, it's actually not going the abandoned, like, rotted look. It actually looks like a modern, clean apartment building. And I suppose it should look nice, given that its creator was an architect, but I feel at this point maybe I should stop to explain some of the backstory in case the game doesn't. So basically, Marcy was an architect who was known for some really out-there designs, as you can see with this weird, curving hallway right as you get in the door. And, basically, she was really, really not able to handle criticism. And she would deal with that by ringing her bell, I guess as some kind of, like, coping mechanism. But in the end, came to associate the ring of that bell with the feeling of criticism. 
and I guess eventually she hanged herself, and the ghost story goes that if you enter her apartment and ring the bell, her ghost will appear. Wait a second, didn't we take an elevator up to get here? How can this be the ground floor? Ah, right off the bat, I can see they're making excellent use of, uh, of her profession as a story theme because this architecture is definitely going to be a major thing at play here. Okay, not only should these windows be impossible, we should actually have looped back in on the ex on the hallway by now. E to interact with drawer. Ten? Uh, can I crouch down? Uh, and we can also press E to read note. Read it online. I survived sweet 776. It is real. It all appeared real, but that couldn't be possible. I was on the twelfth floor, yet looking through the windows displayed the first floor. There were over six other suites on this floor, yet 776 appeared larger, with impossible proportions. There was even an upper and lower level of the suite. It made absolutely no sense whatsoever. And how did I get out? Why am I the only one? I have no clue. I came to Suite 776 with the intention of recording my journey. I set up cameras, but all the footage was lost. <laughs> XX Gamer XX. Okay, now what does the 10 on here mean? It's locked, but the lock is weak and simple. Uh, so perhaps I have to find a lockpick of some sort? Or something to break the handle with? Door is locked. Okay, so I guess I have to look around for a key of some sort or some kind of lockpick. Uh, now the question remains, if she was known for her out-there designs, uh, this must be the bell. I'd imagine that once I ring it, there's no going back. But clearly something paranormal is already at play before I've even done that. And of course, it makes sense that the ghost of an eccentric architect would want to do things like this with her time. No going back. The bell has been rung. I was very worried for what I was going to see when I turned around. Door is locked. So what then? Can I sprint? I can't. And so I've just got to rely on the hope that nothing's going to happen. And so, I'm, so I'm going to assume that nothing's going to be chasing me. Uh, anything in the box? No. It said the lock is weak and simple. What does that mean? Uh, there's got to be something I can pick up somewhere. Can I return to the hallway that I entered from? Okay, so far I still can. Maybe I should try ringing the bell one more time. I've just noticed an ambient track has kicked in. Like a rumble. Or a wind. It's like, you know, it's interesting that it decided to remind me of that as I stepped into the hall. It's almost like, as I was leaving, I just had an intuition. Like the ghost is calling me back. Bell has been rung a second time. But the door is still locked. 
Okay, so what did that do? Didn't open any of the doors. Did it do something to this? No. And thus it begins. Of course. No. Uh, interesting how it's able to evoke this feeling of dread in a well-lit modern building during daylight hours. Okay, so what do I do then? Uh, am I going to be able to open the drawer now? Uh, my character's clearly beginning to feel the fear. And to be honest, so am I. No. Huh? <laughs> oh, these corners. I expect something with each turn, and there's so many turns. Door's still locked. Must I ring it again? Bell has been rung a fourth time. Why are you keeping count? Is, that... Is something coming? I can't ring it anymore. No. Whatever's here, I've definitely made it angry. No, 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 something's back that way. This game making full use of uncanniness, both in the architecture and the sound. Certainly! I'll say, although the confusion may be because I'm just a tad bit concussed after that, somehow the doors connect. The small space appeared large and the windows displayed this warm summer day. Perhaps she was a genius? Just nobody realized it. So maybe this architecture isn't part of the haunting. Maybe she really just did some architectural trickery, but how, how could she? How is that possible? Oh my god, I did not expect to get this scared this early. Uh, but as I was saying, those vocalizations, like, clearly human, but you couldn't attach an emotion to it. It's actually, I don't know if I've ever encountered anything like it. Oh, my... Oh, they weren't kidding. Uh, but they've thrown away. Press and hold left click for night vision. And right click to snap photo of moving target. Press I to access your inventory. Oh, wow, we're getting much more involved. Okay, dumping a lot on me, but... I can see we've ditched that daylight setting. Or maybe not. Actually, it looks like we still have the daylight set setting. Uh, just that the lights have gone out and the windows have been covered with plywood. <sighs> well, we can't leave now. Okay, so I could do that. Uh, kind of an unnecessary night vision. I guess it works well in the shadows. And I can press right-click to try and snap a picture of specifically a moving target? Uh, maybe they're doing something where she's not actually going to be stationary ever, not ever giving me a chance to get a glimpse of her. Wait. It looks like daylight outside there, but I can hear thunder. Mm, so it does work well, but only in the shadows. To be expected, I suppose. It is night vision after all. Still locked. I wonder if it'll reveal things in the shadows, uh, but it seems like it only works when I'm already close. Uh, that won't be used against me at all. 
This is actually reminding me a lot of uh, Silent Hill PT. Yeah, here's where we need to use that. Okay, let's fully charge it. I'm going to press forward on the assumption that I can't die if this truly is meant to be completed in one sitting. I almost thought the shadow from that sconce was something reaching around the corner. So many blind corners. The architecture is very, very tight. Okay. Doesn't open that. Ah, but it does open this door. Uh, certainly making use of repetitive noises to kind of wear on me. We've got the thunder and the grinding of that fan. Uh, there's another note here as well. Email. Results. Printed copy. Marcy does not appear to be in the proper state of mind. Several tests were conducted testing her reactions to stressful environmental conditions. Reactions Marcy displayed include twitching, mumbling, redness. Re How is redness a reaction? And excessive laughter. Marcy decided to end the session early, unfortunately. I advise you to consult Marcy to return for a further assessment. Medication may be required, as currently the only way I see it, Marcy may endanger herself or others. Would you mind forwarding over the contacts of Marcy's family? Perhaps her son? Thank you. Uh, wouldn't the son be seven? I don't know if he'd have contact info. Yeah, but it said one of the coping mechanisms was mumbling. Which is exactly what we heard from in here. Architect of the Year Award. So... Ooh. Uh, so she wasn't entirely seen in the negative. Uh, but we've got some two-way plywood at work here. Apparently she was also doing material science. Ring the bell again. A red box with three inserts above. Okay, so... This isn't just a case of her not wanting me here. She wants to play. Door is locked. Okay. I will say, the backtracking is actually to the game's benefit, I think. Making me anxious for traversing the same ground I've already been through. <laughs> There's that mumbling again. Am I gonna be able to just barely sneak a peek? One oh my god! Oh my god! Jesus Christ, okay. Okay, never mind, never mind, never mind subtlety. Never mind. Who needs it? Who needs subtlety? Oh my god. Uh, cardiac arrest. Oh. Uh. Uh. We now resume our regularly scheduled content. Door's locked. Let's keep it that way. Ring, 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 ring. Well, you wanted me to play. Hey, you wanted me to. You wanted this, not me. I tried to leave, you stopped me. I tried to leave twice. First you told me to come back, then you stopped me. You told me ring the bell again. That didn't do anything with this. Does that mean that something else is open now?
Oh, I just realized, uh, the photo indicator on the bottom left now says times one. <laughs> Did I accidentally right-click during all that? Oh, I didn't even notice. Okay, what do we do now? has been rung for the sixth time. And the wall art is gone. That's a shame. I really feel like it added to the hominess of the place. The walls are so bare otherwise, so it seems like when in doubt, I should ring the bell to... No, nope, no, nope, maybe later. Maybe later. I had a bad experience with that room. Still can't open that. Alright, I guess I have to... Uh, this game's gonna take way longer than 50 minutes if I... If I hesitate more than I have to. One, two, three. Ready for creepy me. Creepy's not the word. E to pick up photograph. Okay, what did that do? Oh, maybe I need to pick up three photographs to insert? Ooh, a fridge. I'm starving. And you put... Who puts a padlock on a fridge? Oh, this is a woman who hated having guests over, let me tell you that. Door is locked. Ah, a hairpin. I can probably use that to pick the lock on the dresser. Wait. Door isn't locked, but... There's a force keeping it shut? Oh, I, I just love it. Oh, place photograph. I have to place them here. I just love it when games use non-standard text on interactions. Lost in Vivo did this really well also. Uh, there's a note here. Like, for example, there was a door you could approach, and when you tried to open it, it would say, It's not real. Interview response number one. Interviewer. You mentioned that Marcy had a bell on her desk at the office. Would you mind repeating what you told me prior to this interview? And the coworker replies, Well, every time she would read something online about herself or her work that she didn't agree with, she would ring that bell. The bell rang continuously, especially after she finished the construction of her new home. Her masterpiece, she called it. And the interviewer says, She was an angry person, wasn't she? She became so bitter with rage at the criticism that you know, she turned herself into some kind of architectural Hector Salamanca. Uh, but what can I do now? Oh, right, I can uh, open this. Almost forgot. Which gets us a screwdriver. What is the significance of the ten? Okay, so now we have a screwdriver. What do we do with... Uh, ring it again. Remind me of my failures. Oh no. Uh, we've got the worst kind of ghost. A passive-aggressive one. I will grab you from behind. Watch me. Ah, uh, it's taunting me! The game is taunting me with expectations. Giving me... Gi giving me an image in my head of what to expect before... <laughs> Bell has been rung for the seventh time. God. <laughs> this game has scared me just enough times to allow me to scare myself. It's trained a Pavlovian response out of me. I can't even comment anymore. No. Oh, I wasn't ready for it. I should have. I should have photographed her. Oh, what was happening? It was like her head was moving back and forth rapidly. You've got to. 
That's a camera. <laughs> I'm gonna have a lot to say about this game because it is... It is expertly scaring me right now. Okay, I guess that didn't count as movement. No! <laughs> Wait. Okay, that doesn't make any sense, but... I guess I shouldn't expect that from this place. I'm literally being taunted by the ghost of an architect. She can do whatever she wants with the geometry of the world. I'm gonna have to ring it again, aren't I? It said one, two, three, creepy me. Oh, I can't ring it again. Sometimes that thunder sounds suspiciously like something falling over. Come upstairs. It's like training me what to expect when certain things happen, and then like adding on to it every time. So that I always have an anxiety of what's about to happen, but I never quite know what that thing is. It's like I'm trained to expect the unexpected. Expected. Another photograph. Before I place it, I'll go and check what's around. Do not enter. Strong lock securing it. A number of these rooms are barricaded. Huh. It's like that portrait is contemplating me as I approach. Almost like it's either bored or curious with my presence. Already unlocked. What a strange but oddly comforting setup. A dangling hook. I might find that useful, but how will I reach it? It's too far out and too high up. Uh, maybe I can find something to grab it with. 5423. I bet that's the code to the fridge in the kitchen. Designer of the decade. So, it's not like she wasn't getting any recognition. She was actually very respected in her field. It's just that she couldn't handle any criticism whatsoever. Like, her ego just couldn't take it. Another photograph. View interior live cameras. Oh, this will show me nothing but good things. <laughs> She's standing amongst the mannequins. I guess this doesn't count. Uh, July 27th, 2019. I guess that's the date this takes place. Okay, how do I leave this? Uh, game? How do I leave? Oh, there she goes. There she goes. There she goes. Oh, I just got four pictures of her moving. Wait, but can I leave? Can I leave? Can I leave? It says she will grab me from behind. Can I leave? Come on, how do I get out of this? No. Okay, come on, move. I'm gonna watch you until you move. Oh, you're tall. Wait! You're standing right outside the room I'm in! Am I gonna watch you enter? I'm taking it on faith that I can't die, and that I'm not missing something. No. 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 Ready on the pictures. What was that scribbling noise? Was something placed down? In any case, she's not here. Now! Okay. Jesus Christ, game. It's like, so it's doing something really genius here, where it trains me to expect certain things, and then every time I go into what I expect to be a scare, it gets me with something that's just different enough that I can't expect it. 
I thought something would be there, but it wasn't the thing I was expecting. And there's another way going down. I'm going to return and bank the stuff that I already have collected before I try to push forward. Pick up long string. Where, where's the long... Oh, it's draped over the shoulder of this mannequin. Hmm. Okay, so as I was saying, I actually do find this style of architecture to be really, really comfy. It's tight spaces. God, the sound of that fan scared me. It, it's tight spaces, but with a balcony like that, it, it's so non-standard that I can't help but be attracted to it. Like, I can just imagine closing and locking that door and chilling in the loft, knowing that I can look down, but not feeling open and exposed, like anything down here wouldn't be able to look up and see me. Uh, so much of what I find comfy in architecture is in the safety bubble feel. And I can pick up the small hook, and now I have the hook on a string. So maybe I can use that to grab something. Oh, that's creepy. This game is using a lot of disjointed sounds that just don't sound... or rather that almost sound like something recognizable. Okay, I gotta find three more pictures. And you know, even though I know that I can't run, and that I won't be called upon to run, uh, these mannequins cluttering the hall still make me feel really trapped and closed in. Uh, it's almost like the shadow of that mannequin is supposed to be making these sounds. Okay, but now what? What can I use that hook and string for? Let's have a look over here, shall we? I do not like corners like this. Uh, when the shadows taper off right to where I have to turn. Oh, this just goes all the way back down to here. I hadn't even noticed that this door was open. Okay, so what do I use that for then? I was thinking maybe I could grab something out of the sink. Okay. Uh, how do I enter this? Five, okay, with the keypad. Four, two, three. I said three, thank you. Bolt cutters. Ah, right here. Excellent. So now I have bolt cutters. What, what would I use those for? Maybe the lock upstairs? Ah, so they're in a certain order. Hard to make out what they are, though, with the low resolution. This is also a really interesting take on a night vision mechanic. Having it so that it doesn't really affect the highlights, but does affect the shadows. Can I open you? There we go. Always want to check behind me after I do anything. It's the rule in horror games. Still locked. How do I open it? Okay, so I must have to find a key somewhere, and finding it must have something to do with that hook on the end of the string. Ah, this was unlocked. I hadn't thought to try it. Ah, I can pry open the drain cover with the screwdriver from before. And I can use... I probably used the string and the hook to pick up the golden key. So I kind of skipped a few steps right there, but no worry. And I bet now I can open this door. Still locked, no. So it opens something else. Where are some locked doors that we've seen? Well, there's one over here. Ah, there we go. And this is one very cramped bedroom. This one's actually a little too cramped for my taste, although... I suppose with the windows open on a rainy night. I picked up a bar of some sort. Interview number 12. Marcy. Many have found that you constantly purchase those clothing mannequins. 
what are the mannequins for? And Marcy replies, Well, you know, I figured it would be interesting to have a headcount of those who opposed me. You know, wake up in the morning, look at their physical representation straight in the face. I would scream at them to back off, but they just stand there looking at me. It drives me crazy. So each of these mannequins represents, like, a person who criticized her in reviews. Ring it again. Remind me of my failures. Are we going to be doing a Shining? Wait, there's another note. Or it says there's a note, but... Oh, right. On the wall. Uh, it's some kind of diagram. It's the bell leading to something, leading to something and something else, but... On the bottom is clearly a doorway with a chair and a noose. Am I going to have to ring the bell to pull back this curtain? I don't think I want to do that. <laughs> wow, my character is actively defying me. Okay, let's go ring it. I'm now starting to realize why the bell has been placed down this hallway. We've learned to expect things to change each time we ring it. And each time, we have to walk all the way back down this darkened corridor. And the bell has been rung for the eighth time. <laughs> and now the whole thing's gonna be dark each time we do it, so great. Great for that. Love that. Love that so much. It's my favorite. I've got my... I've got my uh, finger hot glued, basically, to the right mouse button. Because, we, as we've seen, she may only appear for a second at a time. This mannequin's still getting me. This game has me so unbelievably on edge. Can we pull it back now? That's not what was there before. I saw, I saw what was either the hair or the shadow of the hair moving behind the curtain. That is not what was there from the start. Okay, now we gotta try and decipher this. I can't make any kind of sense of what those are. Ah! Ah! Ah, oh, the movement of that. It feels like a frog is jumping around in my head. What just happened? Ah, uh, you said you'd grab me from behind, not in front. She seems to be a part of this house. Well, she did make it. No matter where you turn, you can feel her anger. But she's fueling it. She's the one encouraging this stuff through her own actions, which I guess is on brand for what we know about her. Ringing her bell was a reminder of her failures. It really did make her mad. What if I were to just walk around complimenting the architecture because I really do like it? Dead and die. One is a description, the other a command. Well, we picked up the old key. The question is, what is the old key to? This has to be the solution to a puzzle of some sort. I just wish I could make sense of it. Oh wait, okay, so hang on. Maybe two is the loft area, or rather the hallway under the loft area. Maybe the green above it is meant to be the light? 
the three bars are clearly the three things that I have to put into the, that uh, box, which, come to think of it, is probably the bar that I picked up off the shelf in the other room. And I guess that'll lead to unlocking the room where she killed herself? I believe those, uh, those six things are probably the Polaroids. Actually, maybe those will even act as a- <laughs> Maybe those will even act as a hint, uh, as to the- the order that they're supposed to go in? I only have so much night vision. What it's charging from, I have no idea. Maybe it's hand cranked. I can hear her. Oh, for a moment I thought the silhouette of that mannequin was her. Okay, uh... Man, I can't even remember what just happened. I think the last thing that happened was... I, I picked up a... I, I picked up a, a... A key? Yeah, a key, probably. I also have a bar that I can insert into that box. God, I do not like sitting in the dark like this. Is there something more there? Uh, it was reflections from that light. Am I through? I'm about to lose night vision. Oh no. She's somewhere close. She's somewhere close. I, I, I bet it opens the door. I bet it opens the door with the lock on it. On the right. Uh, she's stopped. I've stopped hearing the sound. What if I ring the bell again? Uh, ringing the bell, historically, oh, I just keep hearing her everywhere. Wait, is that something that happens in the dark? If I if I stay in the dark for too long, can I not do that? If so, that's very bad for me. It's the noise. No! No, 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 no. I'm out of charge, I'm out of charge, I'm out of charge. I'm out of charge. Oh, but this doesn't do anything. What was that scribbling? Uh, do I wait? Do I wait for more charge? Do I wait or do I use it more sporadically? I don't know. I'm assuming I can't die, but I'm acting as if I can. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. It's gonna be one of these. You're doing one of these to me. You're gonna do one of these to me? I just heard flies buzzing. Am I... Am I to come upon her corpse? Nope, just a dark old basement. Can I go back the way I came? No, I can't. So what does the old key do? Did I miss something? I know that there's multiple endings. Oh, great. I'm paralyzed by this night vision mechanic at this point. Oh, great. Porous walls, perfect for undead architects to peek at me through. Locked with a weird key insert? Uh, but maybe that'll turn on the lights? I'm definitely gonna need that before progressing. I don't know if you can hear it, but I feel like I can faintly, very faintly, hear crying. It looks like there's some kind of safe in there. And I can't interact with the metal door, but there's an axe there. Now with that, I could probably shot my way through all this. Glow stick and another photograph. Good to have. That will bring me to... I think there's only one left to find, then. Uh, 
god. Not the place to be trapped and lost. I don't think it's that complicated, but it's definitely confusing. Attention. Large pulling force required to unlock safety hatch. Use pulley handle as given. I feel like I've seen this device before. What do you mean you feel like you've seen this device before? Is this going to be one of those things where it turns out that I'm somehow personally connected to this place? Uh, they did definitely make special notice of the fact that uh, she left behind a seven-year-old son. Ah, uh, here. Odd-shaped key. That's to the breaker box. So if we can just make our way back... Uh, God, visibility only coming in bursts is... So nerve-wracking. Let's just wait for us to totally charge. I actually got jump-scared by the door opening. Alright, let's toggle the lever. There we go. Oh, but now that's very high contrast. A lot of very thick shadows. I still don't trust this at all. Uh, what'll that have done for us? Ah! <sighs> can I still... Can I still turn that on? Can I still... Uh, nope, now I can't. She totally killed the power. Great. Well, that was fun while it lasted. That whole thing only existed so that I could trigger a jump scare. Must say, though, I'm very impressed at my photography reflexes thus far. Uh, now this door is open, we can get the axe. Now the question is, what does it do for us? Can we maybe break open some of these walls? I mean, I doubt it. All I can do is... Oh, wait. Uh, I thought that would maybe be the... Like, the handle or the lever or something. Can't break in that way. Like I said, it's not complicated or large, but it does still manage to turn me around, nevertheless. I could swear I just heard, like, footsteps or something. Okay. Okay. Just gotta figure out what I use this axe for. No. Okay, where do I go then? Maybe try backtracking? Ah, yes, right here. Uh, let's just wait to charge a little bit more. Uh, there's definitely going to be a reason to revisit this, though. Because we still haven't opened that door to the safe room. Uh, I'm going to hate this hallway so much every time I have to traverse it. The random fly sounds in the middle of it. Ah! <laughs> Oh God, I'm I'm really glad. I think it's really going to benefit me in the end that I've kind of uh, I've kind of created like a muscle memory bodily system in which screaming causes me to depress my finger on the right mouse button. Uh, can I ring it again? At this point, I feel like I would just be mashing it just to piss her off. Huh. Okay, now what? Well, I got another photograph. Uh, and I don't remember if I used the old key. That fan is going to scare me every single time I pass it, isn't it? Maybe we can open this now. Still locked, no. I don't know if there's any other lock... Something just loaded. You can't fool me, game something just... Ah! Okay, I guess that doesn't count as in motion. Oh god, that is truly horrific. They didn't pull any punches with this model.
You just made a sound. No. Okay, I'm just waiting for you to do something. Alone with the corpse. Camera at the ready. Page one. Oh no, are you going to do something while I'm reading? Page one. My journal. Entering suite 776. My name is Joseph Shippen. I write this journal just in case something goes wrong. I want you to know that I was here and that I probably died here. No, the, no, no, no. The lights are going out. The lights are going out. The lights are going out. This can only last for so long. Should I finish reading? Uh, I came to investigate Suite 776. I did this because Marcy Shippen is my mother. Her only son, I, her only son, Joseph, 27 at the time, wanted to meet her for the first time. Many... Uh, stop doing that, soundtrack. Many claim Suite 776 is not real. Apparently, others were given permission to enter the suite with no luck in triggering the cycle. Or should I say, with luck didn't trigger it. I stand before the bell this very moment, and I'm about to ring it. Funny thing is, I get this feeling that I shouldn't ring it. I feel like I rang it before and was sent right back? To try again? Either way, I'm going to ring it. And I will document what I see in... Hopefully snap a few pictures. We'll see. Am I perhaps caught in a loop of my own? I think this is written by me. And that I'm being like called back repeatedly. Can't open the door. And the corpse is gone. Oh! Come on. I have to approach you, don't I? Mom? Right? <sighs> and nothing from you. Did you want me to see you? Is that why this is happening? Do I have to look away? No. Maybe I have to interact again. That makes sense. So it's like, people who found this place, I don't know how it could possibly be thought of as not real, but people who found this place, only some have managed to trigger this cycle, uh, enough to make it like a local legend, I guess? But in this case, she wanted me here. <laughs> I seen it coming. Walk away. Um, I paid four dollars for this game. Ah, uh, but... But my photos, they're reset to zero. So did that one not count? Because I was really impressed with my reflexes on that. Walk away. So maybe I'm being given the apartment to leave again. Now she's telling me to leave. And it says ring the bell for the first time. I won't leave. I won't leave. Uh, I'm too heavily invested. My whole career is riding on this. And the lights slowly fade. Achieve ending one? You know, it's strange. I feel like I've done this before. I feel like I've been through this all. Seen this all many, many times. It's as though I've made a mistake. I've done something wrong. And because of that mistake, 
I'm brought back to where it all began. Perhaps there's a way to save my mother. To end this curse. To end it all. Finn. Ooh, we get a stat screen. Ending unlocked, one of three. Time played, 55.8 minutes. So with commentary, the prediction was pretty accurate. Nine photos of Marcy in motion were taken, which means uh, that the one that, uh, when she turned around, that one actually counted. One of three gold bars collected, five out of six photographs, and zero of one Easter eggs. Okay, I'm going to go back and try to get the other endings, or at least one of them. You know, I just noticed, since I never actually looked at my inventory during the course of the game, uh, it says May 17th, 2014, but the security camera said 2019. So does that mean that I've actually been stuck in this loop for five years? I didn't even... Did, did that happen before? I didn't even hear that the first time. Uh, for all this time, actually hearing, like, a recognizable vocalization is even creepier. Uh, give me that string. You know, I'm kind of starting to wonder if maybe that 10 doesn't refer to being openable when I've reached 10 pictures. Uh, kind of weird rules, Mrs. Ghost Lady, but I'll play that game if that's really what's happening. And we have ten, giving me the achievement Fast Finger. Uh, which means maybe we can go down there and open that drawer. Ah, there we go. And we get another bar. Hearing that. It's like it's coming from her Architect of the Year award. God, I. I can't stand that sound. It sounds like it's moving all around, actually. That's two out of three. There's gotta be one more somewhere. Bar there. Okay, so we got all three gold bars. What does that do for us? Uh, I gotta remember, I have a feeling the ending won't trigger unless we go into the room. And the other loose end is this door right here. And it says, it says, use the pulley handle as given. Where's the pulley handle? You know, I'm only now remembering that the whole purpose of the gold bars is to open that box. So perhaps we can open it now, and maybe that'll open the door to the safe. Only question then is going to be, how do we open the safe? <laughs> I got you! I got you on candy camera! I legitimately forgot about that one. Alright, let's open this up. And we get the pulley. The achievement says, so that's inside. This was in a girl's... Wait. This was in a girl's fabric face. What does that mean? Alright, put that on the board. Meaning there is only one picture still left to find. And we can get in, open the door, and here is the safe. Red, blue, yellow, green. Okay, so somehow a number must correspond with each of these colors. You know what? I bet we can consult the paper on the wall in the upstairs bedroom. Or the upstairs bedroom bathroom. Eh, 
If this does tell me the combo, I honestly don't see how. God, what could it be? What could those colors be referring to? Wait. That clock. Uh. That okay. So, uh, th this is me going real tinfoil hat, but I'm I'm only thinking this because I'm pretty sure the other clock had a different frame. So what does that say? That's uh, one o'clock exactly. So blue would be one. Blue one. Red three. Blue one. Red three. Blue one. Red three. Blue one, red three. Blue one, red three. Blue one, red three, green nine. Blue one, red three, green nine. Blue one, red three, green nine. Blue one, red three, green nine, yellow seven. Blue, blue one, Red three, Jesus. Okay, yellow seven, red three, green nine, blue one. Uh, which I totally don't have on a notepad document on my other monitor. Okay, so it's red is, so it's three one, three one seven nine. Oh my God, it actually worked. Uh, this is one of those things that I feel really clever and cool because I solved it, uh, but I also know that I solved it basically by chance that I happened to notice the clocks had different colored frames, so if I hadn't figured that out, I would have been really, really annoyed. But that's the last photograph. And we get the achievement, Dreamcatcher. And now we can place the final photograph. All of Marcy's memories have been found. Hopefully she appreciates this. Okay, so now what? I can use the axe to knock that down. Uh, still locked, how do I open it? So maybe we can't go in there? Yeah, that's the one thing that I still haven't found any way to do. Well, let's use the axe, and but, but this time we don't find her in here. Uh, now we can read this note, which is the same one as before. In any case, I'm at 14, and the achievements have come in increments of 5, so... Uh, stop it, Van. I gotta be ready on the draw. No. There she is. Marcy. Marcy, wait, she's not her regular self. Or she is her regular self. She's, she's not her monstrous self that we've seen. She's just admiring the photos. Maybe us doing this has allowed her to kind of put aside her professional, uh, her professional hangups and kind of just appreciate who she was as a person. And she's still not looking great. I'm happy you got this far and reached me my true self. It's been many years since I've seen you, my son. So long that I've actually forgotten your name. I'm truly sorry for that. I can see you've come here with the intention to photograph me. To prove to the world I exist. Yeah, I'm now a paparazzo. However, that's impossible, and you knew that from the start. Shall I remind you again? Sweet 776 does not exist anymore, and it's not been around for over 30 years. 
Where you stand right now is your apartment. The one that sits on the land where my home used to be. None of this is real. And none of this happened. Just like I never killed myself. I was murdered. That's a plot twist and a half to which during your upbringing, you were seen as the son of a crazy mother, destined to follow my path. The mental strain and criticism got to you the same way it got to me. Don't become me, Joseph. Oh look, I remembered your name again. Now come to me, and let me remove you from this place. Go out there and live. Never come back. Uh, I guess I'm leaving. Uh, can, can you just kind of like, you know, wiggle your toes a little bit so that it'll count as in motion so I can get 15? That's kind of driving me crazy. Well, I guess I'll leave then. No, still locked. Uh, Marcy, can you let me out? Wake up. Oh, I had to talk to her again. And we're leaving. Waking up in my own bed. In my own apartment. I guess this is all something that came to me in a dream, then? I don't know what to make of that. And there's no number on the door. I I I'm left truly confused by this, even after I thought I'd gotten it. But I guess, in some way, uh, as a character, I was able to get some kind of closure. But man, you can't just throw in that I was murdered and have that be the end, with no additional context or anything to have that mean something? I mean, that's a bombshell. And I get ending three. It's funny. I never saw myself as being crazy unless people pointed out. I like to think I'm not crazy. Right now, at least. Truth is, I'll probably come back home tonight. Get into bed and forget. Forget everything I just witnessed. Is there something wrong with me? Maybe it's the pills I'm taking? The doctor said they helped my mom, so why wouldn't they help me? Finn. Okay, let's read our stats. Ending on lock 3 of 3, time 44.2 minutes. 14 photos of Mo Marcy in motion taken. i say that three times fast. Marcy in motion, Marcy in motion, Marcy in motion. Actually, it's not that hard. Uh, three out of three gold bars, six out of six photographs, and zero of one Easter eggs found. And set to a lovely soundtrack and it's closing. That was Sweet 776. Pretty much the scariest hour of gaming I've played since Lady Beneviento's house in Resident Evil Village. That was fantastic. Oh my god, that was so terrifying. And you know what I think I like about it the most? I mean, it did a lot of things right in terms of, in terms of like, you know, player expectation, training you of how and when to be scared. Uh, also reading this, this is a very, very nice uh, credit sequence. It's, it's very, very, uh... Uh, what's the word? It's very warm and sincere. Uh, but anyway, what I really like is that first jump scare of Marcy peeking out the door. I mean, it set an eerie tone first. 
And then it just gave us this absolute heart stopper of a jump scare, and it just set the tone for the entire rest of the hour. It basically created the scenario where we were all at once trained to be terrified of seeing her. And then with that unnatural mumbling, it constantly made us, like, fear that she would be around the corner. Where just the sight of her, just the thought of the sight of her, was enough to set us on edge. And that was enough to carry the entire experience. Now, I already talked about how it trains you in other ways to kind of lead you into scares. And in that way, it's like the game always knows what you're thinking and how best to exploit your mental state in a given moment. I also appreciate that the puzzles were all fairly straightforward. I wasn't really stuck on anything for particularly long. Everything was pretty logical. And, you know, the, the house itself, I, I was worried uh, with all these winding corridors that it was going to, you know, become kind of a chore to walk back and forth and have all these things change and all that. But uh, number one, uh, you know, speaking to her ability as an architect, it actually never changed. I, I realized that far too late. I think it really is just ingenious architectural tricks because the only thing that ever changed was that the front door would eventually lead back into the kitchen. But also, I thought it, you know, it would become a chore to walk around every time, but actually, it was laid out in just such a way where everything felt all crazy and winding. It made this small space feel really big. But as we went on, it would open up all these shortcuts so that it, it was never really too hard to get to where I needed to go. I never really felt like I was just holding down W waiting for the next part to happen. It, it basically it allowed just enough walking for me to build up my own anxiety, but not so much that I got bored. All in all, an absolutely terrifying experience that invites you to come back for more, but even then doesn't overstay its welcome. Now, I've all tabbed out just before this and seen that uh, the third ending is basically like an Easter egg, sort of Far Cry 4-esque ending, uh, in which we basically have to finish the game in two minutes, presumably by just turning around and getting back into the elevator. I'm going to get that for the achievement, uh, but I don't know if I'm going to record myself getting it here. Uh, well, now I've pretty much talked myself into it, haven't I? All right, uh, speed running sweet 776. Gotta hold down that W key and not stop for nothing. Gotta make our way all the way down this hall, presumably ring that bell and come all the way back. Bell has been rung, now let's get out of here. Let's ding dong ditch my ghost mom. Nope. Not ringing the bell again. Come on, this should be the easiest speed run ever. I hope I get it. And away we go. Do I get it? Oh, this counts towards my time. That is so stupid. And there we go. <laughs> Achieve ending two, and you probably didn't even enjoy the experience. Sometimes it's best to leave the myths behind. Treat them as though they don't exist. No matter how badly I want to accept that, I can't. I just have so many questions with no answer. There is a way to save my mother. I know there is. But what could it be? There's got to be a pattern of some sort, a sequence that must be commenced. 
But what? What could that sequence be? I'll have to come back one day and find out. As will I, because the one achievement that I'm missing is to get 15 photos of her, and I could have gotten it had I not gotten all the photos, found her hanging, and had her turn around. I would have had that 15. Time played three minutes, liar. Uh, zero photos of Marcy, zero of one Easter eggs found, so apparently I still didn't get that. Uh, but this game takes an hour to play each time, uh, last time notwithstanding. So I'm gonna end it here. If you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to do that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one.